as you were becoming more popular and popular, you started really now attracting a lot of interest, obviously, to the local press, and a lot of piercing started to happen. Mm. Looking behind the veil of the star, the big showman, mm. Bong Eni mm. and 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 how did you reconcile some of the reactions about oh Bong Eni is a bit of a tough one? We think the actors are being exploited. I mean, you've had your fair share of attacks from the media. How did you handle that? And you see, because I never uh, was hiding the fact that I'm tough with artists, mm. it didn't bother me because it's the only way out. Uh, if you are too nice to artists, they're never going to do their work. <laughs> and my, my shows were not going to be that excellent mm. if I wasn't tough with mm. artists. So mm. I'm very hard when it comes to artists. Mm -hmm. And that I will never depart from. <laughs> <laughs> You're known to hold, you know, hold on to your guns. I mean, yeah. let's talk a little bit about just, uh, and I'll just pu pull out one highlight um, when the uh, song Amandia came out. I mm. mean, some people who know you well are like, oh, well, that's in Bongani. He tells it like it is. You know? But you get into a lot of trouble for it. Yes, I did get into a lot of trouble for it, and I got to be hated by some section of the population. <laughs> yes, exactly. Which is fine. Okay. You know, because, hey, if Christ could die for, the, for our sins, <laughs> <laughs> who am I? Oh, is that, is that the thing? <laughs> but, I mean, I mean, how do you respond to that? Because... You see, the, the, the point is that I have been witnessing the exploitation of the African people by the Indians. Mm. And I was never going to keep quiet about that. If I wasn't quiet about the exploitation of the black people by white people mm. during apartheid, mm -hmm. why would I change and, and, and say, well, I'm not going to talk about the Indians? Like some politicians chose to do, mm. to actually uh, uh, cover it up and pretend as though I was lying. When they themselves, yes. behind the scenes, in the passages, and when we meet in the planes and the airports, mm -hmm. say to me, you are so right. Is that what you say? Exactly. They would say that to they you. They would say that to me. Mm. But in the media, because they are politicians, they have to look good. Uh -huh. They would say, oh. How could Mbongeni say that? Uh -huh. Because they, you know, they think they will win votes. Mm -hmm. and, and I say I'd rather lose votes and tell the truth mm -hmm. than win the votes and lie about the sufferings of the people. So you maintain it was all about board. You maintain? To this day, mm -hmm. I maintain it. No apologies. No apologies. Absolutely nothing. Remarkable. Take it or leave it. <laughs> I, I admire that kind of boldness. Now let me, let me ask you, in, in a country like ours with a young democracy, People often get afraid to challenge the status quo. Do you think you're just misunderstood or do you not heed the voice of those who say, you can't be reckless and throw such blanket statements? Uh, someone has to say it. Someone has to be the voice of the voiceless because someone out there in the street is not interesting to a television camera, yeah. but he has a story to tell. So those who, who will attract the media and even attract controversy, yeah. let it be them who will tell the story of that poor person out there. What followed next was the big controversy of, oh, we've given you so much government money, Mongeni, how could Sarafina too be this, et cetera, et cetera. It, it seemed like a troubled time for you in, 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 in a sense of getting favor of not only your audience, but even the media all at the same time. Mm. What was going on for you personally? And, and set the record straight, what really went down? Well, what really went down was that the ANC was not ready to rule the country. Uh-huh. Unpack that, yeah. They, 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 they got scared when the DA at the time, who they were not used to, mm. started raising. I mean, remember, you have to remember that white people had ruled this country for more than 40 years. Oh, wild, yeah. So they knew the inner workings of government. No matter what you do, if, if you, if you, if you, if you uh, publicize a tender, you know who you want to give that tender to. Uh -huh. Because you, who could compete with me anyway? <laughs> I hear what you're saying. You so, are the only obvious choice, you said. Yes, mm. so, so in other words, they should have just stood their ground and mm. said, he's the one we want. In fact, we don't even want him to tender. We appoint him. Mm. 
to do it because he's the one, A, who has an audience. Yes. We know that if he does it, everybody will want to see it because he has a name, he has the audience. He, we know he'll do the right job. But, you know, the, the, the ANC-led government at the time, you know, including Matiba, mm. you know, they got cold shivers as if they had made a mistake. Do you feel you were let down? You were hung out to dry? Well, I feel that they were cowards. They just let, let me bite the bullet. And, mm. and, and, and indeed, I faced it on my own. Yeah. And I conquered. <laughs> Which you always seem to do. <laughs> Which you always seem to do.